what's happening guys i'm out with my wife katie and we're gonna get into some really good fishing we're gonna go prospect some wrecks i'm busting out the sinkers here because the current is really strong i just changed out my braid to 30 pound test because pulling these fish out with a lighter braid is just near impossible with this heavy current and also the abrasion of the wrecks that we fish we'll be using white crab for the bait in the deep water this is what the fish really want You'll notice the rectal prolapse with these fish, and that's the intestines being pushed out by the swim bladder inflating. As long as it's not extensive and you don't see heavy bleeding, these fish will be fine. I swim them right back down. A lot of the times you see air bubbles come out when they come up, which is a good thing. The intestines will retract on their own. Take the claws off, snap them off, then I go like this. Snip the back leg, snip the back leg. Clip the horn clip the horn so it opens that up so the juices can come out first drop i re-spooled my reel with a 30 pound test for the rig because 15 I was losing too many big fish big dds i lost so as you see in the previous videos this is going to make the difference i think you might want to just keep your tip lower for a hook set like wind down a little bit see how my tip is there's this is marriage. If I told her to keep it up there, she would wind down. <laughs> What's up? I think I just got hit. so far away. Ooh, yeah. That might be a might be a tog. They usually wake up yeah. on the Oh shit, nice. Oh I got him in the gills. Oh hold I got him upside down. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Nice keeper, Kate. Nice fish, slam, nice buddy. Yeah. That took about three minutes. Let me take a little picture. Donkey, that's about a big six. There you go, hold it out. I got tapped right away as soon as I got down. Oh, it's chewing. Oh, I got it. Oh yeah, this is a good fish, Kate. Kate is a good fish. Kate, 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 it's a really good fish, Kate. Good. Oh, yeah. My drag's tight. My drag's tight. 30 pound test. It's a good fish. This, this could be a DD. I don't think it's a DD. It's not coming up that heavy, but it feels, feels like a, feels like an eight. It's gonna take a run again when I come to the boat. Oh shit, yup. That's about nine pounds, bro. Look at this fish. Look at this big male. Hey, buddy. Oh God. Look at that fish. Yeah. This is two monsters right away. That's a nice fish. All right. There's gotta be a big female around. That means if this is a male, like, oh, I'm getting hit. Oh boy. I got it. That's not huge, but I got it. Oh, it's waking up. Oh, that's another nice one. Another nice one, about five. Oh, oh boy. Another, like another keeper anyways. And this is textbook Katie. This is the thing she does and she'll pull up a fish. It's ridiculous. All right, we just made a little adjustment to the other side of the wreck we were on the based on why it looked the starboard side and now what would be the port side yeah the current's picking up too so i think we're losing our window here in my experience 30 foot movements make a difference sometimes 
I feel that bigger fish are lazy and they're not going to make that kind of movement, especially when there's current. They're just hanging out in the living room. So you got to go to different parts of the house. We'll see if I'm right here. Current's picking up. Got it. One of the things I like to do whenever coming up on a certain piece of structure, especially a wreck, is I'll cruise around it far enough away to get a good image on the side scan because a lot of them are covered in sand. And what I'm looking for, you know, is an obvious break in the wreck or a hole, which I will see on the side scan. And that's where these fish will hide in this heavy current. They're lazy. They don't want to be in that heavy current. It's too much work. So you can either wait for the current to slow down or you can work into those pieces, but you need a strong leader that you can pull these fish out with. Dude, this fish is tiring me out. Oh, sh yeah, it's a good fish, man. Saw the boat. Saw the boat. Oh, yeah. Another almost seven almost seven at least yes yeah, another big male another big male another big male look at that right away got it that's mine it's another oh this is it's a good one oh yeah I gotta get out of structure. Oh, it's taking drag. It's bigger. Bigger than the last one. You'll notice the bubbles come out right there. That's the air coming out from the fish. Pulling these fish up one after another from this depth will wear you out. I was extremely tired after fighting these fish this day. Okay, put them down, put them down. Another male. There's a big female around here. It's another same, similar size. No, he's chewing. You'll see your tip go dink down hard. You'll see, wait, you should, you should get them, reel them up, get them out of structure, keep them up high. How is it? Decent? Good tog. Another good one. Bring them over. Nice. Okay, we're limited. It took about 30 minutes and they're all big fish. Yeah, okay. No, it's a good, it's over five. It's about five. It's a good fish. No. It's a good fish. There's a hole here. A hole? Yeah. I just fell in a hole. I gotta, if I get hit, I got, if I get a fish on, I gotta pull him out of this hole. The first fish I hooked up at this rack broke me off on the braid because I only had a four foot leader. So I retied with 50 and eight foot to make sure that it didn't happen. And then it was not a problem. Oh, it's big. Yeah, it's good. Ah. I got him up. He's out of the hole. He's heavy as shit. He's heavy. Well, you got a yeah, that's true. And the current. <laughs> he's not fighting. I think when he sees the boat, he's gonna bug. I think he's gonna take drag when he sees the boat. He's getting heavier again. Here he is. Another nice one. Another nice one. Nice toggy toggy tog. Look at that. And I gotta release them. Those big, they're all big males, man. Uh. 
scratched. Scratched. He's there. I gotta get that structure. Ooh. I'm gonna take him slow now. Take him nice and slow. I'm gonna take, take him nice and slow. It's getting heavy. Oh, yeah, he's getting angry. Skinner rod's awesome, man. Heavy fish, heavy fish. It's current though, current's kicking my butt. Oh, oh that's another nice one. Oh, this one's pushing seven, I think. No, six, maybe six. Another male. A lot of big males, man. Uh, south side one each keepers on the south side. south of the line the island lines it's the New York bite and it's chewing it's not on it on it though got it uh, it's in structure uh, uh. Damn, this, this current, man, is like... Oh, this is a good one. This current's out of control. Did that boat leave? Yeah, he left, because... Yeah, good. That's what I wanted him to do. He's long gone? Good. So, I had a boat roll up on me. And I'm fishing this spot till he can't fish it. Oh, there it is. Ooh, female. Nice one. There's a female. Nice fish. There she goes. No, you don't. See, you gotta. You got him? Okay, get him out of structure. <laughs> what the hell are you doing? That's how we're doing. Yeah, figures. Watch this be like. Nah, it's not that big. It's not fighting hard. Decent, though. Every time I relax and put my food up, I get a bite. So I try to get in. Oh, uh, yeah? Yeah. Okay. It don't work that way for me, but okay. Three times, really. Ooh, looks good. Getting them in? Maybe. Okay, bring them back. Bring them with the female. Buddy, this is barely a keeper. You got a green crab on? A green and a white. I don't even think this is keeps. I don't want him going back. Oh, yeah, he's definitely going back. What are you talking about? That was garbage. I want a new spot. I don't know what you did with your rig here, but it's nothing, all nothing. spun up and... Ooh, that's a good fish. Damn. I gotta get him up. That's a tog. Oh, it's a keeper. Oh, nice. Nice. Nice keeper. Right away. Good, good area. Take that. Nasty hit. Did you see that hit? Oh God, dude. They're 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 hammering it. Got it. Okay, it's good. Decent fish.
Definitely a decent fish. It's got weight. Oh boy. Oh yeah, it's a good fish, Kate. Is that a nice one? On a yeah, white? yeah, white chin and a white. That's a keeper. Crushed it. I knew I saw a pile of them there. Love that side skin. See fish, get right on them. Come on, one more time. Hitting again, hitting again. I got it. I gotta get it out of the wreck. Okay, oh, I got it out. I got it out. Oh, it's a good one. Oh shit. It hasn't even started running yet. Oh. It hasn't even started. Might be current too, but it hasn't even started running yet. Oh. Thank God I got him out though. Oh, dude, he's pissed. Oh God, this fish is not happy when he sees the boat. He's gonna, gonna take a run. Oh, it's big, Kate. It's, oh, Katie. Yeah, it's big. Yeah. Nice one. Another big fish. Another big fish. That's over six. Whew, man. Yeah. Oh, God. Oh, God, that wasn't easy. Uh, I think I fell up one. Oh, shit. It just woke up. Oh, it just woke up. It's pissed. Let's go back down. Got some weed. I think it's current too. It's so hard to tell. Definitely a keeper, this one. Fought hard enough to be. Oh, yeah. Oh boy. Oh, it's a good one. It's a real good one. Yeah, good good fish. Oh god. Look at the teeth on this guy. Both hooks. He's off. Did I get it? Oh, I got it. Oh. Oh, God. Not that big. Oh, it woke up. Extra, you know, a few ounces too. <sighs> yeah, I'm fucking worn out, man. <sighs> oh, 
another good one. Another keeper anyway. Yep. Okay. Well, I barely had him hooked too. Barely had him hooked. Quite a lot, I know that much. All right, let's get out of here.